does have a light. You can see the teeth. <coughs> Well, I don't look at this. You got two kits to choose. Which one are you going to do? Yeah, well, if you recall, when we did our wind tunnel testing, these were the two winning kits, Castelli and Surpass. So I made sure to have both. You'll make a decision on race day? No, no, I'll make a decision after my next... I'll do a bike session on Tuesday and wear this one and see how it feels riding, and I'll probably run a little bit. Yeah, and swimming. You're going to swim with it up? I would swim with this suit up and the surpass suit down. Can you turn around? Can you do the 360 for us? Nice. What do you think of uh, Daddy's suit, Levi? That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's here. Welcome. Yeah. To Villa de Norvege. Inspired, get the motivation high. So here we are, ready to. I guess, as I guess, every athlete on the island is doing after breakfast, watching the Lionel Sanders YouTuber just to. Yeah. Get the motivation high. How many minutes till it starts? It's three minutes and ten seconds. So at nine o'clock every morning we have the live premiere. I've tried to get a uh, hold on um, a private link. A private link, because as, as a former YouTuber myself, I know that it's possible to send out link in advance when the video is uploaded. But I haven't received anyone from the. Even you're even you're even a part of the cast. Yeah, so I feel I should have had the possibility to preview it in advance and not have to wait for the nine AM countdown as everyone else is waiting for, but it is what it is. Countdown. Now it's nine twenty eight five. That means it's gonna be like two minutes delayed. All right, what are your thoughts? Any feedback for Lionel? Skip the last time, okay. <laughs> Relax. Skip. Rest. Yeah. Less is more now, less is more. Uh, it's an easy day, rest day, so I'll go for a swim, like an hour, either to the beach or downtown in Kona, if the pool is open and then an easy ride and uh, just refilling. It was a big day yesterday and uh, now it's sort of main, some few short sessions, a little bit like the only intensity I'm doing is maybe like some short part of race pace, but not massively. And then resting until race day. Peace. Peace out. <laughs> Be hitting LT2. I slow down Unnecessary. We're looking for volume. I gotta slow here. down a little bit. Okay? Mm -hmm. Lionel, uh, push it up from below. Are you excited to vlog the next eight days? Seven days? Oh my god, when does it end? <laughs> when does it end? Is this is this that everyone's gonna see you I literally just privacy? <laughs> is this is what everyone's gonna see? Nothing? This is my method now. The work has been done, therefore we do no more work. Does that sound like a good plan? I think you should do a little work. I think that that, I think in 2022, that would have been better than what we did. Literally nothing, just easy swimming even. <laughs> Don't even bike or run. <laughs> that would have been a better method <laughs> than what we did. So nothing. I couldn't even do an easy Ironman. <laughs> like, like literally as easy as I could, I still couldn't do one. Um, no, for peak performance, there definitely needs to be a balance, uh, but I for sure will uh, lean more towards less is more. Yeah. Hey, jump to daddy. Jump. jump. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
All right, here's your podium. What are we watching? Uh, we're watching the men's T100. Vegas, looks like a great, great uh, course. Um, obviously, you know, the not, the swim is extremely, it looks choppy too. Oh yeah, it looks like a tough on the way out. Swim is extremely important in these races. So, I'm, I, like I said, I bet the underdog. Like I, obviously Martin Van Riel is the favorite, heavy favorite. Heli Gaines should do good. I don't really like betting, like you said to me one time, why would I bet, who was it, Conor McGregor bet a million dollars to win 200,000? Yeah. Like why would I bet, why would I bet the favorite <laughs> from my betting standpoint? I bet the underdog and then I do a long shot, a long shot I would also bet for a top five Justin Reale, top five. Now this is one I got, fo this is the number one one that I have FOMO on for sure. This, yeah. this is a great course here. There's Sam this Long. Is my kind of course right here. All right, Lionel, are you recovering or what? I'm recovering. I told you I ain't gonna exercise again until next Saturday. There we go. And what's going on here? See Heli Geens pulling away from Martin Van Riel. Those were the two favorites. I raced Heli Geens in a golf course run before. He, the man can run. So this will be a tough one for uh, Van Riel to bridge back down, I'd say. It's not that big. I think it'll be a tough one. I don't think he's. I don't think he's gonna fade. They're both wearing the. Martin Van Riel is still engaged. Yeah, that's a great pull. I mean, it's yeah, it's really big. I haven't, I haven't tried to fix it. Like the reality is, I, I don't have the tools to make up a new tubeless tire. And two, then I found it pretty hot. Otherwise, I haven't found it that hot. The recovery has started. The taper has begun. Just chilling now, actually. Now you're about to go hang out with the family? We're gonna chill for a little bit, go for a swim up at Waikoloa, go for dinner, and then uh, go from there. Do you uh, think any more about yesterday's session? Did you get any more data or yeah, thoughts? Yeah, I think, I think that's why you shouldn't ask people questions in the moment. Because you asked me, how you feeling multiple times? And I was like, I, I don't really know. I don't really know what I'm feeling at this moment. I have to kind of diagnose what's going on here. And so after stewing on it and analyzing the data, I don't think I was out of carbs. I shouldn't say I don't think. I know I wasn't out of carbs because my cognition was so good. And then I also cooled my core down and swam, you know, a good 4K for myself and then ran 10K and felt good. So my carbs weren't like ultra low. That's not what the feeling was. The feeling was that my core temp was extremely high and my heart rate was extremely high. And I sort of alluded to that in the video at the end. I was already coming to that conclusion and that jog because I felt so good on the jog. And so, so I actually wouldn't be too fearful of having burned through all my carbs which is good because I was only, hadn't swam and I was only 21K into the run. Um, but I would be very, very cognizant of core temp and heart rate. Heart rate in particular. Heart rate is like a central, you know, metric that encompasses so many things. Everything really. And my heart rate was really high and I didn't account for that. And I, I could only sustain it for so long. And that's so, a great lesson for the race, I think, because heart rate's the one metric I'll have access to in the race. I won't have access to lactate in the race, which like I, wouldn't what, even, I wouldn't even want lactate in the race, quite honestly, because racing is for racing. Training is for training to get yourself ready and metabolically ready, that's why I use the lactate, to be able to, to have the energy to go the full distance efficiently. But then, you know, one time, 
you're going to deplete everything in the system. So I wouldn't, the lactate would actually not be useful in a race, in my opinion. Not really, maybe early on, but not really. But like what you said, when you see your heart rate's higher that day, that means your zone's not there. Correct. The zone was, was lower, or rather the power was lower. The pace was lower. Mm -hmm. And I never accounted for that. So, and then uh, after you adjusted, you came back, filled up on carbs, and were completely fine. Yeah, it felt great. Unfortunately, you don't get a three-hour break. Uh, actually, I actually took like 40 minutes break, then I went swimming. But you don't get a 40-minute break in a race. You better manage your effort a little bit better in the race, I'd say. <laughs> In this day and age where everyone is trying to push the envelope of uh, peak performance and how much uh, carbs you are able to take in and so on, I think nutrition is super important for Ironman racing. Um, the rumor is only Matt McElroy can get in 185 grams. Are you actually able? Will you consume 185 grams on race day? Uh, on the bike, I will aim towards 180 grams of carbs per hour, yes. Cool. Do you got any more? Um, no, maybe just one more comment. Let's say you do win. You cross the finish line and it's you. Uh, just talk to me about that moment, what it's going to feel like, what it would mean to you. What, what will be going through your head? I think it will be difficult to describe if I manage to win this race. Uh, I've had some pretty big moments uh, in my career so far. I've been lucky with that, but I think this would mean this would be all the other things I've done in my career would yeah kind of this would be <laughs> really really big and bigger than anything else I've experienced and yeah it's I think it's one of the things you can't really put into words or describe before you probably do it great and then just maybe one more one more comment about um, all the athletes here they've got respect for the course for the island or what it means to race here just talk to me about what it means to like race in the environment yeah, I think Kona is uh, for sure one of the toughest and most difficult places to perform in the Ironman circuit. So you have, uh, yeah, the swim uh, can be really choppy and difficult. The bike is rolling and then you have the heat and humidity on the bike and the run is especially where you will feel the heat and humidity. So it's a combination of being in Hawaii where the climate is so extreme and also the course itself you can experience rolling terrain or you will experience rolling terrain but you can also have some pretty uh, crazy and nasty winds that is really hard to predict i'm hoping for a super windy day uh, i think that would favor me so i have my fingers crossed for that so nice. some cool, some all right ah. <laughs> and I like it's road pretty road. out here isn't it do you recognize this? Do you remember the Kona yeah, Blogs 2022? Lionel's old ones? I'm not that big of a fan of you. Come on, Magnus. You know you watch I, everyone. Even though I watch your videos, I'm not that big of a Come on. <laughs> did, you watch, uh, did you watch the T100 race today? Is there a, I did. Did yeah. you have any FOMO? Yeah, so I did. There's multiple yeah. flavors. But it's also have, nice um, to be here. The uh, and the I think, uh, cool. yeah. I mean, come on. You could be looking at the Las Vegas Strip right now. Yeah, it was. It uh, looked like a tough course. We have, uh, we're launching this is also pretty nice. All right, Chris, tell us what we're doing again. No, eating pizza. No, the green flash myth. Hmm. We have when the sun sets right as it goes down the horizon. If there's no clouds, especially from up here, it will shine green. No flash green. Don't look away. Now's the important time. Oh. All right, watch it. Don't look, it's already turning green. <laughs> this is your last swift thank you Caden. Don't blink. <laughs> if it turns green, we'll take it down. <laughs> we see it. And not yet. Oh. There it was. Oh, it's green. Oh, is it? You it? Yeah, I did. Oh, oh, you actually oh, saw oh, it? Oh. I didn't see it. You didn't see it? I didn't see it. Uh, did it you see great. it? Yeah, I saw it. it did you see it? Halfway. Halfway. It was, yeah, it was a leak. Right before it went I wouldn't down, say yeah. flash, but it went green. It, it went green, green for a split did second. You see it? Normally, it's okay. I thought it would be more dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we would have like a line of green light. <laughs> like, <laughs> Fireworks. And by the way, happy birthday, Caden. Happy birthday, Caden. <laughs>